So today I wanted to show how to install the new editor, the Tonex editor, which just came out today. Uh, I'm just going to play with it. I know there's some other YouTubers have covered it a bit in advance, uh, but I just wanted to make a bit of a, like, you know, from the very beginning. So let's get straight to it. So here I'm in the product manager is that, uh, the, the software there where you install all the plugins. And I have Tonex Max, but you will have your own version of it. And what do you have to do? You have to either, you know, we'll say an old version of it. I think I had 1.6, whichever version you have, you will update it. Like here you have the update uh, arrows. You will update it and that will install, uh, we'll go through the, the process of installing the software. Now uh, you used to have just a standalone Tonex version. Now you have two uh, softwares, two separate apps. Uh, the Tonex, let's call it all version standalone. You will have, you know, the, the, the opening homepage and then the modeler, the, the software that creates profiles, you know, Tom models as they call them. Uh, and then you have a second uh, app, which is the actual live editor. Let's call it live editor, uh, which contains now the librarian. The first time you open the editor with the pedal plugged in, it will prompt you to update the firmware in the pedal. Uh, and you can you should be able to see here um, info. You can see 1.9 is the version of the software. You can see if the status if, if it's connected or not. And you should be able to see firmware 1.613, which is at the moment. Uh, it's uh, March 13 today. It's the the latest version. I feel that definitely they've done a great job. You have the team at Kimmel Media, and now it's so much easier to create sounds. You don't have to, you know, the two things don't feel separated anymore. You know, the pedal and the app and the and the, the plugin, and you have to, you know, go from one sound to the other. Like now, it feels that the pedal is a standalone thing, just like all the other. Uh, you know, uh, pedals. I think I understand the logic. The company obviously was more of a plugin company that had the something for guitar and has some hardware. And um, uh, so it was almost like plugging first and the pedal is just the loader where now it feels that the pedal is a pedal is the, you know, it's a self-contained little thing that you can uh, edit without the need for anything else. Well, but that's it really. I just wanted to make a short video and uh, just go through very quickly, go through the, the editor. I think it's self-explanatory. It just edits every possible parameter on the pedal. And it's now it's clearly laid out. You can save on it and you can uh, basically just organize. It's, it's a lot, makes a lot easier the job of organizing the sounds, level them and, and, de and create a bit of detail, so to speak. It's a lot, things are a lot quicker. Um, I hope this helped. It, leave some comments uh, if you wish. And uh, again, I made some patches for Tonex. You know that. All the links are in the description. Make a, a, a donation if you wish. I'm close. I'm so close to 5,000 subscribers. If you could subscribe, that'd be amazing. I think I'm about like 10 away from 5,000. So that would be a bit of a milestone. If we could do that, that'd be amazing. And uh, that's about it, really. If you find any value in this video, please subscribe, like, share it on social media, Reddit, any of the, of the channels that you, you're part of. That would really help. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.